Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Hellion. Uh, last episode, we finally got ourselves a Tier 3 Singularity Detonator, which is great. And I did check out the Tooltip on it, and something that uses 6 circuits will actually get you one back, if we recycle it, but we're not going to recycle that. No. Uh, I was looking around at some of the systems, like the power supply and stuff like that, and some of the things like the catalysts and even one... Uh, control, core containment field generator or whatever the, the battery capacitor uh, they're both down to like 9% so I'll have to either have to find one or make one but I am suited up ready to go I got a full welding tool I have some jetpacks full I have uh, almost empty inventory I did make another warp cell and I was thinking about this uh, because the warp cells are fairly plentiful what I might do is anything under 20% I might recycle because I just dropped another oh geez six warp cells in the fabricator and I still have ten, ten on the ship two of them are full plus the one I have on me and the ones that are on the ship are over 25 percent so you know I might might just keep recycling them taking they're actually pretty common scrap but since we are good to go, yes, I do have the tug unpowered. Uh, it was we were in the shadow of Bether, so I had to turn the reactor on because we had no solar power. Uh, that's something I want to do too: is uh, a try to get better containment field generators, so we can get higher capacity, uh, battery capacity, and two, get some catalyst for the solar panels because the solar panels are only doing 300. I'd like to get another another solar panel module. Uh, I did look at see if the S modules are available and they are available so uh, we can start going up and down and all around and make the most confusing station in the world all right so now I gotta go in I'm gonna turn the power back on first we can take the helmet off uh, unfortunately I don't have any reserve on me so if something happens I'm done uh, power yes can you uh, I did my rounds too, checked uh, did any minor repairs, power supply had some decay and a couple of minor little things, there's one on the lifeboat, I can't find the damn thing for the life of me. But yeah, there we go, I have that tool there, I have a spare helmet, uh, these are, I think only like three of these are under 20% and these are all full plus this brand new one here. And I think we might actually need to use this to get to Airedale, because that's where we're going. Uh, Airedale, apparently you can find a lot of warp uh, solar panel modules there, you can find the S modules there, and apparently there's a higher spawn on circuits, so we might go check that out and see what we can do. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to take to get there, probably about 10 minutes, I've never actually done any warping since this, and I almost saw we hit the station there, I hit the station, I'm on flying here. Okay, uh, let's see here. We are here and we are going to go to our first interplanetary jump of the season. And we go on here. I think we're just going to go. Let's get a nice orbit right around here. And make sure we're going from this side. And let's see how long it takes. Not too slow. Yeah, that's what I thought, about 10 minutes. And 30%. Wow. Alright, well I guess I got 10 minutes to kill. And you won't notice a thing because it's going to happen in about 3 seconds for you. And there's 2. And 1. Ah, Aerodel. Long time no see. It's been a while since I've been out in this area. Uh, I had a an OBS issue too. I went to go start recording and I had some issues and uh, basically it was uh, like a DirectX error and then I restarted OBS and then my monitor just stopped working and I actually got to the point where I had to actually shut my computer off completely. I turned my monitor off, unplugged the HDMI cable and plugged, hooked everything back up and I finally got my display back and it's like the second time it's happened with this game. Uh, I did a little bit of organizing here. Uh, I've just had anything under 20% I'm probably going to scrap. I was also thinking about it too. The mule probably still has a three warp cell slot, so 
might be worthwhile to hang on to them because if the meal has the cargo bay it used to, eh, it's certainly def definitely worth taking for uh, looting missions and whatnot. But yeah, I got 200, so I got three there at 30 percent. These are all at a 20. I got a 30 there to get home, and a 20 for jumping around here. Uh, that's the thing about the meal too is you had actually had more stuff to kill time with. I actually want to see how much this cost. 33 percent. So yeah, the 30% won't get us home, especially if we're towing a module. Uh, I don't know if we will be taking a module. It's going to be a solar panel over anything, really. Uh, we'll go do a scan. I think uh, if we go to Arlen here, Arlen here, I think that's where we can find, uh, find ships. Wow, look at those orbits. Those are crazy. All right, derelicts, 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 derelicts. Derelicts. Really? What are these derelicts you talk about? Anyway, let's, uh, let's go check them out. See what we can find. I know we can find uh, a fair amount of circuits around here. Oh, this is going to be a super fast warp time. Literally seconds. I could probably even shave that down to. Oh my god. That's insane. Where's my marker? Where is my marker? Did I not initialize it? What is going on? Uh, the warps. Oh, it's be too slow. Oh, there it is. Okay. But hurry, got 20 seconds left. Uh, they say this is supposed to be more maneuverable than the. Uh, Mule. I never haven't really noticed anything, but unless the mule's changed, I know the mule used to have like killer RCS. You could get get a vertical ascent of like 50 meters a second in like two seconds. Like it was really powerful on the RCS. But let's see what we have here. First derelicts, and they are. According to this, old spawns, but since I've never been here before, I think I should be okay. Let's actually go to this one here because it's closer. Yeah, if I can find circuits, I'm going for circuits. At least you don't have to worry about any debris fields, so the decay won't be terrible. Whoa, slow down. Uh, that was a close one. And you're not going to give me a match. How dare you? So I'm going to have to use my skills and do this myself. Please don't know I'm so not good enough. Good enough, we don't have any debris to worry about. Let's get out there and see what we can find. Helmet down, close, and I was thinking about Maybe I should have put a hundred units extra in here. But that's the thing too, is once I dock to the station and all the life supported tanks become one, I thought it was like specific individual tanks. So if you decompress, depressurize the tugs airlock that went to the tugs air tank, not the community air tank. Uh, yapping away and I forgot to open the door. All right, let's uh, go check out the first derelict of Derelict of Aerodel. Get some light on the situation. And see what we can find. That's a big one, too. Nice. And we're supposed to have a pretty high spawn rate of these circuits around. So I'm going to take my time and look around. We actually just left the debris field, so we have a little bit of time before. We start heading back in. I'm not saying we got all the time in the world, but we got a minute to catch our breath, that's for sure. And nothing down here. Alright, let's go in. Let's go in and see what we can find. I already see a fire extinguisher. And something in this locker here. Oh, another fire extinguisher. Is that what we're going to find here, is fire extinguishers? 
Yeah, that warp cell. I don't know if I should take it or not. Two of them. Ooh. What are they? 21s. Take them for scrap, I guess. <laughs> Usually I'm so thrilled to find warp cells, and now it's like, I find so many of them, and the ship is so good with them. I'm not going to worry about this stuff. I have a ton of this in the station right now. I think the fabricator is actually almost full of plating and the fibers. I'll take the stem pack and a servo. Nothing high tier yet. Uh, I don't know if I want to take those canisters or not. Ooh, I'll take the pistol though. I think I have one on the station somewhere. I just don't know where it is. Alright, well, this looks like this one. I think. I think I might actually go to the ship and go to the next one so I can actually park. Alright, so I'll meet you at the next derelicts. Okay, here we are. We actually have two of these long corridor modules, and they're usually quite plentiful. Well, this is a shorter one, and it actually looks more bare bones than usual. Let's get some light on, see what there is. Armature. Oh, I see an electronic. Thank you. I will take, definitely take that. I wouldn't mind finding some uh, catalysts, but I don't think we'll find them here. I think that's a, an industrial thing. And plating. Nothing to really worry about. More plating, and I think that's about it on the outside. And look, what do you know under the fire extinguisher? But there's an air filter, and I know it's the life supports. Life supports air filters running a little low. Oh, stim packs for days. Take that and that. What do we have in drawer number one? Another pistol. We get for those things. Eh, may as well. It's in my inventory already. All right, let's let's get the right right way around here. Let's actually see what I'm looking at. Uh, wow, stim packs for days. And I could probably use it. May as well. Oh, another servo. Maybe don't get any circuits for them. Alright, nothing on that side. I don't think there was lockers over here. And, uh, we'll just leave that one. Because uh, my stim slot is full. Okay, where is that other piece of junk besides my ship? There it is. Alright, show me fried electronics. But apparently, uh... So damaged PDAs or things like that, you can find that outside these circuits. Again, I haven't seen anything like that. I think you gotta go all the way to Aya to find that, but you might get higher circuit yields out of it. Possibly. We will find out one day. Won't be today, though. No, uh. By the looks of it, it could be. I'd be expecting like a half an hour warp with a tier 4 singularity detonator. So it, it could be quite the trip. I might have to see if I can find a place to put the basketball net in there. Something to kill time. What is on oh, a drill? Thank you. Oh, another air filter. Carbon filter. Same thing. Oh, this one's not going to last too long. I'm not going to worry about the drill. We'll take the filter. Uh, anything up here? No, just a drill. Another filter. Quick before it blows up. It's a good thing I took those stim packs too. And that one's the, the bogus drawer. Uh, warp cell, we're going to leave it. Mark 9 helmet, we're going to leave it. And clip, we're gonna leave it. Boom! Okay, where's my ship? There it is. Alrighty. Off to the next one. So, go ahead and I'll do a scan, see if we can find anything interesting, and I'll bring you back.
All right, here we are to four brand new fresh spawns. I'll probably just go straight to the derelict ahead of us. I'm not going to worry about taking them. Well, I don't know if we want to take a corridor with us. Not really too worried about it at the moment. It'd be a solar panel, if anything, that I'd want. Just as long as a corridor, it just it has solar panels on it. it. Actually generates power. And that's actually the one thing I found funny about the solar panel is it generates 300, but it uses 125, so you're only getting 175 out of it, technically. So turning it off is actually the best thing to do, which is usually what I do, just because I like the darkness better. Maybe one day we'll have to do a blackout on the station, see how much light we can actually get when we're in the dark. But let's go see what we have here. These are brand new spawns. We were actually technically around Aerodil. I was thinking, well, go hit these up and then head off to Arlen, which is the first moon, which is probably where we're going to find a ship. And I actually am quite curious about what the what the mule is like now, because every time they update the game, they update the mule, and the mule gets better and better and better. All right, let's get that flashlight back on, and we'll do our usual circuit check. You just spot him a mile away. Okay, what we got? A lot of armatures. What's that? Man, it's a big old bolt. Not too bad these RCS didn't work. I'd say let's round together. Get what we need and then dispose of the evidence. And nobody knows. Because we're all out here alone with our space. Madness. Okay, there's nothing out here. Apparently nothing upstairs either. Okay, what do we got? Hey, at least I got went in the right way this time. And is this gonna be empty? Oh come on, are you serious? I don't want it. Get it out of my face. It means nothing to me. Oh, a fire extinguisher. Who would have guessed? What? Only one? You guys are getting cheap. Alright, well this one was a bust. I guess we'll have to go check out the other one. Uh, maybe I'll take that stem pack. Like, if it'll let me. What is that? Oh, it's uh, some sort of ram or piston on the module. Okay, where's the other one? There you are. Please tell me you're better. And let's see what we can see out here first. It's pretty sad when you're more worried about pulling the junk attached to the outside of it that floated into it than what's actually inside. Plating everywhere, and no circuits to be found. At least not around here. Definitely be heading off. It's plating. And another use down here. Oh, there's one. I spot the little blue devil. Thank you. Now let's go inside and see what else there is. Certainly not going to be better than one piece of fried electronics attached to the outside of the hull. Absolutely not. A little bit of sparking, maybe I should do some repairs on here. Alright, don't mind me, I'm just going to come to the window here. Another air filter. Well, I have to say that's the first ever entering a derelict that way through that particular hole. Sorry. Oh, oh, it's like an armature or something. Uh, I'll take the filter. I have enough. Got a few on the station too, I think. Uh, anything else? Nothing. Ooh, a fire extinguisher. That's the word of the day. Fire extinguisher. And carbon filter. 
so yeah, we're definitely in uh, the wrong area. All right, well, I'm going to go head off to either Arlen or Teora. I'm not too sure. Let's not hit that derelict. Where's my... Where is my ship? Where are you, damn it? Uh, yeah. And apparently, I, I've heard that you can actually find, like, these fried electronics and stuff actually just floating around in the debris, outside the debris fields, but... I haven't got the balls to do that. But anyways, I'll see you at the, the next moon. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, OBS didn't record, OBS crashed on me. But I'm out of Arlen now. I ran across two solar panel modules and a CM. And we're going to go in and first we're going to attempt to repair this first solar panel module before we go to the CM. And that's actually what I was doing when the game crashed. It just hard quit out on me. And it's probably it's like 40 degrees in here. Unfortunately, it's extremely hot outside too. We have a lot of fires in the province, and there's also apparently a big fire in one of our, one of our southern municipalities, and it is creating a lot of smoke and cloud cover, or smoke co cover, and it's getting pretty bad. So let's do this, and this is actually rotated a different way. Really? Uh, I hope there's no turrets on there. Uh, if there is any turrets, like I mean on that CM, if there is any turrets, I hope there's no power to the station. Because I think the turrets need like 100, 100 watts or something. Oh hey, the game didn't crash this time. Alright, got another solar panel. I'm not too worried about fixing it all up. All well, these spots here will do like a good 30-40%. And I can fix it up later. This is just to keep it sustainable until I can actually pick it up. And... Okay. And fortunately I have saved. So if anything happens... Where is it? There. I'm good to go. I could take a gun with me too, but... Eh, why bother? Okay, and no turret up there. And thank god they don't shoot through walls anymore. Or doors. So I hear. Has no power. And has no turret. Yay, let's go investigate. Let's go loot. I get mowed down just like that. Oh, I see stuff on the floor. And my leg in the door. Hey, it rhymes. Servos. Servos, servos everywhere. Oh, stim packs, hacking tool. Cool. Find a lot of stuff in here. Uh, what else? Besides a whole lot of decay. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Uh, I have a hacking tool, so if I need to hack my way in upstairs, I'm good. I thought there was a cabinet in here. I guess not. Alright, let's go up. Let's go up. Oh, this is... This is not going to last long. Oh, I do not like this at all. This is going to explode pretty soon. And it's unlocked. Good. here. See what else can find. Ooh, lots of grenades. Lots of boom-booms. Got the clip. Anything here? No. No. Uh, could take it if I want. It's a piece of crap, though. I don't care. Alright, let's go check out the mainframe, see if there's anything good in here. Before she blows. Nothing. Yeah, I didn't find too much. A couple of servos. Got the solar panel though. Uh, that's the only thing that really matters. Oh yeah. Well I, I thought I took that helmet. Now I did. Now to get out of here, I'm sure it'll blow up and just make it so much easier for me. If I can get down this elevator. 
I better call it service technician. I think there's something wrong with it. All right, where is that locker? Because I'm pretty sure every one of these modules has a locker in one of these doors. You know, a side cabinet, you push the green button. Well, apparently not this one. All right, so now to the other solar panel, which is over here. Where are you? Right there. And we'll fix this one up quickly. And we'll... I'll grab them to the ship. I never did check this. Uh, I never did actually check to see if there was any turrets in these things before I just go and start fixing them up and dragging them home. Well, again, I don't think I can actually get to my ship. But anyways, uh, looks like I have these two secured. So I'm going to fix fix them up a little bit, connect them together, and then I'll do another scan and see if I can find something else. Maybe we can get three of them, or even maybe something better. Anyway, I shall see you shortly. Okay, I have the solar panels in to tow right now. I thought I'd come up to Teora and see if we have anything interesting. I wouldn't mind finding a couple of catalysts or something. You, you know, for my troubles, right? So it works so hard for them. Uh, yeah, not too much for derelicts. Uh, I'm not going to worry about these exploding because they probably. These are probably generated. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. I don't know when these things are generated. Uh, you know what? Let's go up to Senna here because Senna is a military one. This shouldn't take too long. Let's go to warp two. Uh, where is my warp maneuver? Sure. Do that. Bring it all the way. Of course, impossible. That's why I'm here to challenge the impossible. Yeah. I know. Wishful thinking. Anyway, I'm in the space, space madness. Little, little white bunny behind me agrees. Isn't that right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, we'll be there shortly. Uh, I got so many air filters now, it's unbelievable. Quite something. I got a lot of grenades too, we're gonna have to go and blow something up one day. Like I said, I got all this ammo, and I was able to do it now that I can actually make the high tier weapons like the sniper rifle and. Uh, what was the other one? The other one was the. I don't know, it's some, it's some sort of laser broadsword. I think it was like a laser pulse rifle or something. Something like that. It was supposed to be a really good, really good one. And here we are. So let's, let's take a look at what Lath has here. Oh, that's not, that's right. We're not actually, not Teor anymore. We're at this tiny itty bitty rock around it. What do they have? Oh, wow. Oh, oh. well, there's our trifecta. I was actually thinking about that. Uh, there is an S module, but I'm not even going to worry about it. Oh wow, there's solar panels everywhere. We're going to have to get a solar array going. Definitely. Alright, this one is amongst a couple of derelicts. That one isn't there. That's not there. There's three of them next to the command module. I think we'll just go for the derelicts today. My module, solar panel, and two derelicts. Sure, let's go to, the, to this one. Uh, let's actually go right to the solar panel. So I can fix her up nice and, nice and good. Engage. So I can find that stupid maneuver. Soon enough, they're going to have auto alignment. I'm actually surprised they changed this. Uh, then again, though, it was all about timing with the original, with the old warping. The closer you were to zero, the closer you got to your destination. So maybe too many people were missing out because of server lag or something like that. So I probably changed it like this. I don't know if it 
had to do with people, the same people that had to go on about auto docking. You know, docking's half the fun of this game, if you ask me. But let's see what we have here. So it's three solar panels, which is good. I'm gonna put one on the lifeboat side and then the other two on the power on the power supply side. And then that way there's gonna be plenty of room around that airlock for when I bring the mule in. And I think it was because the mule has to go sideways. All right, so let's go straight to the solar panel, which is actually the closest. And then uh, go hit up the derelicts first, and then maybe the command module. I'm not too worried about the command module unless he gives me something that's going to give me circuits. It's all about the circuits. Right, let's get nice and close here. And you're not going to let me park, you bastard. Alright, fine, we're chasing this one down. I guess it's picking up the glow from Cinna or something. That's why it looks so... So white. I have no idea. Oh. Good thing we're not in the station. I'd be dead by now. Yeah, I still can't believe how, how fast this air, these airlocks are now. That was my biggest joke, was uh, replacing the... The airlock sound in the, the ship's, uh, the, the, the mule's elevator airlock to some sort of mu elevator music. That's whatever, 10, 15 second clip. Do -do 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 -do. You know, just stupid ass shit. Anyway, let's uh, go grab this module. Ooh, it's got a lot of decay on it. You can tell it's old, but we are here just in time. How about a new paint job, sir? I'll go fix this up and then I'll grab the the nodes and the hinges here. And then hopefully the game doesn't crash. I know I shouldn't shouldn't have said anything. It's not like I said at least my ship did it blow up. And I'm surprised nothing's happened to it yet. I really am. Well, I wouldn't say nothing's happened to it. I've lost the uh, entire life support twice now, I think. Due to head-on collisions with uh, medium or even possibly large debris. Okay. So that is that. And then there was... There was one up here, I thought. No, that one's inside. Alright, let's go have a look and see what goodies we can bestow upon us. Turret! No. Oh, a detonator. Uh, too bad it's only a tier one. It's not even... Oh wait, it's a slow panel, that's right. I do want to repair this. Well, that's a shame. Not even a tier two. Just a tier one. Okay, I think we only need one. Only need one circuit to make it. There's a couple of warp cells in here. Oh God, we're saved. What would ever, what would we ever do? And another hacking tool. Nice. Okay, finders keepers. Well, with that being said, uh, I'm gonna dock this to the other one, and then I'll bring you back. I'm going to go check out those derelicts. Where are you? Oh, you're outside, aren't you? There you are. Okay. I'll be right back. Alright, I have everything fixed. So, uh, let's see how far is it going. Yeah, I better take the ship. So, it appears I have a problem. I can't actually get home with the two warp cells, or with the three modules not quite enough so I'm wondering because I have enough for Erdo let's actually see if we can go to Athnar and then get there theoretically if I waited I could probably get a better transit could do that it's already a 10 minute warp 
Uh, to actually say the distance it's traveling over the period of 193 days, over the period of 113 days. And it took a while to catch up. Well, that's what I'm going to have to try to do then. I guess I'm going to have to try to jump to Athnar and then warp back home. It's a waste of a full warp cell, but what can you do? And then I'll see if I can actually get a high orbit to make it cheaper. High orbit on this side. Warp and speed too low. Of course it's too low. Oh, this could be expensive. Oh. But quick. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna have to be speed three. All right, stage three. All right. Well, I don't have as long to wait. So I'll see you in about seven minutes, and you'll see me in about two seconds. Make that three. And okay, well, I'm not going to be having any luck getting home from here from Athnar. Uh, it's not going to happen with a tier four, the tier three. So what I'm going to do is because I'm here, I need to get over here. I'm pretty close to get there. Even then, if we were perfectly parallel, there's no way I was going to make it on, on the first jump. I would need Airedale to get back. So what I'm going to do. Or realistically, I should go to Wrath. But anyways, I'm gonna warp to here, and then I should be able to warp from here to Bether. Let's actually pull this back a little bit. So I'll go and warp to that. Uh, I used 88% to get to Athnar. It was, I uh, wish I had thought about this earlier. So much cheaper. Well, somewhat cheaper. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna hop, skip, and jump my way home. And then I'll bring you back when I've got everything connected back up. So, I'll see you shortly. And believe it or not, I finally made it home. It's a good thing I had that these shelves full of warp cells. These are all completely empty. I'm pretty sure those are all completely empty. Uh, I have like one or two good cells left and <laughs> that's about it oh my god I am never going to try to warp halfway across the system carrying three three modules with only two, three, four full, full warp cells with only a state a tier three detonator it has been quite the challenge I think I had to do six or seven jumps you know, in a solar orbit just to get back here and then I I actually got to watch Bether get bigger and bigger three times. The first time it was about as small as that little dot in the middle of the screen there, and the second time it was uh, about as big as broken marble there, and then the final jump I had just enough juice in that last cell, and I'm pretty sure this one was down to 1% too. But I did a, I think I did a count, I have, I believe I have 15, so I do have enough to take all these dead ones and bring them right down to nothing. What do I have left here that I can actually go in and do that one for now. Alright, so I've been thinking about this uh, because I don't really have the life support to pressurize all three solar panel modules. I'm going to take the power supply off and I realized I had about eight feet of room there so it's a tight fit but it's enough room for the, for the solar panels. And I'm just going to put all three of them right there and then just leave that area unpressurized. And then that way it's just save them resources for now and then once I start getting the S modules we'll start making the station bigger and better and I want to have a spot where I park my ship where I can see my entire station because that command module doesn't have the best view but anyways uh, let me get this taken care of and I'll bring it right back okay I just got everything docked back together I'm gonna quickly run in turn them on make sure they're fixed up to any minor repairs I can uh, I'm running about an hour and a half late on this recording just because of game crashes like you would not believe. And when the game crashes, I lose progress. Fortunately, I was able to make some saves. Not always the best of times, but it did save me a lot. 
Alright, we are gonna have to definitely get more warp cells. Oh, it's this one that's bad. Alright, we'll do that. And then this will take us all the way to the command module, which is bad. Alright, we even have a little gauntlet of turrets here. Uh, where is that sparking? Okay. We are good to go. So now, one last thing to do. We gotta go down the stairs. I'll fix that later. Like I said, we're run. I'm running short on time. So we go ahead and deploy those. Deploy those. That's all on that one module. And this one. And then uh, this reactor. And then those ones are already going on. It's up here. So there we go. We have an extra 900 to the system. So uh, I'm going to wait till these actually power up. See what we get for generation. Again, I will leave them turned off. Just until, until we see what our surplus is. Alright, so they're, they are all up and going. We have full sun coverage. Yes, we do. And we're still surplus in 325. That's good. So what can we turn back on? Yes, we are driving power. Oh, everything's on except for the ship, which is even connected. And that's another 600 to the system. And we're all doing this without the, without the reactor. Alright, so I'm going to run outside and do a quick uh, peek because we have Betha right behind us right now. It's a really nice view. Oh, look at that. There's a burner up there, too. Okay, now we have a substantially big system. Where is my ship? There it is. Should tie a rope to it. That way I never lose it. Alright, let's see what we have here. There we go. Let's uh let's take a little detail over here. Actually I'll just get my ship to do this. Nope. Oh, that was the right way. Uh, I'm so used to the meal. I know, I miss my meal. At least it was easy. All you had to do was fight in the roof and you find your way in. Or the big end of the ship and just fly into the mouth. Okay, let's make this quick. Alright, I have no idea how long this episode is. And I just realized I am out of oxygen. Which is okay. Because I'm home. We had a, it was an okay haul, you know, I got the three, three, uh, solar panel modules, it's actually a really good thing that I made, uh, that third warp cell, definitely. Alright, so let's do a quick check here. So we got six, uh, air filters, we got three circuits, three hacking tools, we have a whole ton of dead warp cells, got a couple of pistols, I got an EMP grenade, and... Yeah, just some random stuff. So, let's uh, hop in here and get into a nice spot for a screenshot. Come on, come on, too far. Yeah, overdoing it a little bit. Alright, there you go, nice solar array. I actually want to try to get a couple more now. Let's uh, nullify this quickly. Come on. We gotta have a good shot here. I'll even go a little closer. That's what happens when you panic. You over, you overcorrect, and then just a slight backwards drift. And there we go. That's gonna be it for this episode. We finally got ourselves a nice little solar farm going. I think next time we're gonna. Do a bit of resource topping up because if we want to start moving the station, we've got to be able to have uh, resources to resupply. Uh, might even get a second cargo bay just for kicks. But, anyways, I uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.